In today's videos, I'm going to show you my desk setup. Right now, it's not looking really good, uh, but I'm going to clean it up and tell you everything about pricing and how and why I chose everything that I chose. If you're wondering how my setup got like this and why it's so messed up is because I got some new things and I just opened them really quickly before I had to travel uh, this weekend. And now it's when I got the chance to actually be able to uh, Put everything together and um, as you can see it's just like packaging stuff and um, things that like i got uh, recently and um, i'm gonna try to make it better now so let's do that with me the first thing i'm going to do is clean up all the trash that i have on the table or boxes that i have of things and just uh, clean up a little bit so then i can work on other stuff After cleaning a little bit, this is how it looks now. What I was thinking is right now, I want to move this stand right here uh, behind the fridge and this microwave because um, I want to be able to open this window and close it without having to move the table. I'm just calculating if, to see if I have enough space um, to put that there because, you know, I have drawers and I need to open them sometimes. I don't know if I like it because I feel like I don't have space. This is going to be a mess. My question is, should I invest and like actually do cable management? Um, since I only have like one month here, or should I just put everything and plug it in and forget about it? I think I might do cable management, not as good as like I would want to, but just a little bit enough that I'm comfortable with it for a month. This is how it looks down here right now. I... If you're wondering how many, like why so many cables, I don't even know. I just got out of hand a long time ago. There's so many cables. This is where I'm at so far. This would go there, and then I have this right there, and I put the fridge back. I did move it and tried it in a different place, but I don't I don't think I liked it. And um, I do have this gap right here, and I don't know if I'm gonna put this there. I, I feel like I'm very limited with a space like this, like just on that side um, for myself. And what I'm considering now is having this right there, but that like the, like this thing on top of this one. It's gonna look like really tall. Well, I don't know if I can do that. As I just noticed right now, the uh, this is wider than the um, the little thing right here. Why am I going through all this trouble? I don't know, I just, I like my, my stuff clean and right now it's worse than before, but you have to uh, trust the process and um, enjoy it too. If you have a more efficient way to set up 
uh, my little area right here without trying to put stuff away because I also, you know, want to be um, respectful of, uh, you know, yeah, hide out my girlfriend's room and I don't want to like just put stuff over there and then like have limited space. Uh, so I'm trying to also work with, with that and she's not here right now. So, uh, she wouldn't be able to say yes or no. So that's why I'm trying to be a little more conser conservative on that side. A few moments later. I just finished organizing everything for today. There's a lot of changes and I didn't record as much of the process because I wanted to finish today and I felt like I was like very indecisive in what decisions I would make and it was just a, a lot of nothing for a while. I'm going to show you my setup and everything uh, that it includes. I do have a lot of stuff and of course this has taken a lot of time for me just to accumulate. Um, I bought uh, different things at different times and over the years and uh, it might seem like I have a lot and it's very expensive, but uh, which it is. But I, I've accumulated over the years and it's a slow process of updating my setup. The Amazon links, which all of them are affiliate links, so uh, if you want to help me and support me, uh, you could do through that but you can also just go into Amazon and uh, look up for the name without uh, supporting me, which you can you can totally do and I won't be upset about that. Uh, bear with me with my explanations of why I got things and uh, all that stuff. So um, the first thing and most important, I think, is a monitor. I was usually on my computer doing homework. I'm in college and uh, gaming also on... Um, my computer and i got gifted before i got this one uh that one right there which is a 24 inch uh, 180p monitor but right now it's not in use because i have limited space to put it in so right now i'm not using it but i was before uh, and a monitor is one of the best things this one is the gigabyte 27 uh q x um, and the price is going to be down below to our sides, we have um, the Edifier MR3 speakers. I chose this ones before the M4s because uh, they're smaller and they also have Bluetooth. Uh, under is the stand from Canto. Um, and then right here we have uh, my peripherals, which is a keyboard, a mouse. Uh, we have the uh, Aula F75 and then the Shark Attack X3. Uh, if you see right here, this is an Anchor USB switch. I use that uh, in complementary with this monitor, which is KBM switch uh, to change peripherals. In the back, which don't mind my cables, you, you don't see them that much. Um, and this, this, like I said before, this, uh, this setup is temp temporary and not uh, fully proof, but I have this USB hub from Anchor 2, which is attached to the monitor so that I can have access to it in both uh, my Mac and my uh, Windows computer. Over here we have the Mac Mini. No, over here we have the uh, pod mic from Rode USB. Um, and then uh, fee fine uh, arm that before I had attached here and it was very clanky because this desk is um, it's not the best to clamp things on and I decided to clamp it to this stand which actually is not that bad um, and under we have this uh, board which it's very good because I had it before there, as you saw, but I put it here because it hides all of those cables right there that I go into my computers right here. So that's where I have my Mac, my Windows computer, 
and then I have an iPad that I just have it there, but I could just take it out. Um, but uh, talking about more stuff, I have the scarf controller, uh, a Vision Pro, uh, that is really good for gaming. I also have these headphones, which are very old. They're the Astros 20 and they still work. Um, I don't see any reasons to switch anytime soon. I do have um, the Elite Controller 2, but I bought this one because it had a stick drift and um, I wanted to upgrade to a better PC uh, controller. Uh, what else? There is a lot of cables that I bought or came with the peripherals and I'm gonna leave those below. I also have, um, I also, to help with, with the management of it, I put zip ties and uh, reusable ones, uh, Velcro uh, tape, uh, like on there and on here. And also uh, some little clips that go over here for um, the cables. Uh, for the cable management, I think uh, this setup has turned out very well. I wasn't, I wasn't recording with with the audio correctly, so I'm sorry if uh, the audio is a little bit messed up. But um, I'm gonna keep it that way, you know, natural. Um, oh, I forgot about this light. This light I bought on um, TJ Maxx uh, for sale, like it was cheaper than what uh, it was. And at first I was like, I don't know if I like it, but it has a really cool spot right there, I think. And it just brightens this area right here, which I think looks really cool. Um, and I'm really happy how this turned out uh, at the end. I was uh, scared at first, like, am I gonna like be able to, to finish this today? And is it gonna look better or worse? And honestly, I'm very happy about the setup. Um, like I said, the window now closes. I have that fan right there, uh, which is pretty cold right now, but um, I have it right there right now, just uh, for other things. I'm gonna explain right now, like how I use the KBM switch with uh, this uh, other USB switch, uh, because it's a little complicated. So let me take you on a run. Um, so right here, I have this KVM switch, which I can switch to PC1 or PC2. Uh, and I can just start clicking and then uh, either computer will turn on. So right now I have my Windows one and I can just switch it. And I, of course, I have to press the button on the other KBM switch, uh, but that would be, uh, that's easier for me to have because sometimes when I would be using only the KBM switch on the monitor, if the computer was already uh, asleep, it would be hard to turn on uh, because it will default to the other computer. And that goes to the KBM switch goes through my windows uh, right here to my windows computer it goes through a display port to usb-c and my mac goes to usb-c to usb-c uh, which means that for for my mac the information gets carried by just the cable the usb-c cable but for the windows computer you need another cable additionally so i have a uh, usb uh, a to USB B, I think, from the monitor, so I can have peripherals. In top of that, um, I have in the back, so I, I do use the KBM switch, uh, of course, and that's where this comes here, comes in, which is the um, hub for USB C's and USB ports. I don't, I'm sorry right now, my camera doesn't want to focus. Um, so I use that for more peripherals like this microphone right here, which right now I have it as USB-C and I can connect it to both my Mac and also my Windows computer. Uh, with the audio right now, I have the cable running from there to the 
monitor so that the audio automatically syncs to the uh, speakers, which is really good. Um, and if you have any other questions of how I use my both of my PCs, um, let me know. I do mostly my work and editing on my Mac, and then gaming is only on the the Windows. If you if you like this video, please consider subscribing and giving a thumbs up. Uh, it's a little different kind of video from what I've been making uh, in YouTube so far, but I just want to show my setup because I'm kind of really proud of it and. Um, I, I think it could help a lot of people that are struggling to have two PCs or uh, mostly two laptops that they, they want to include in the same table. And like, for me, one of the most important things is not to disconnect and connect things. Uh, for the most part, only when I need it, I disconnect my Mac to go to class. Or if I need it outside, I just disconnect the two cables and uh, easily I can just put it back in when I come back. Um, but as for ease of use, and also I want it to be minimal um, at, at to some point and not have that many cables here. And um, they're not very organized, which I did spend a lot of time doing uh, or tried. But since I'm moving uh, in a little bit, in like a month, I'm not going to spend that much time uh, working on it. Since I would just have to, to switch it up. Uh, but I do really like this little corner right here and it's very special to me. Um, so thanks for watching.